Hi, everyone. My name is Jonathan, and I'm a product manager here at Nintex. And today, I'd like to take you through a new feature that we're bringing to Nintex Workflow Cloud Forms. Many of you, are, I'm sure, are familiar with the data lookup control that is available in Nintex Workflow Cloud Forms today. And in the latest release, we're going to be expanding upon our capabilities with data sources within the Forms Designer. Here on my workflow canvas, if I go into my form design, I can see that I've got a little request deal extension form that it will pull in my first name, last name, email, and then I have a data lookup control here that is connected to a SharePoint site over in SharePoint Online. And here I'm just pulling back some work items. I'm getting my title and my ID. And to give you a sense of what that looks like, we can go in here and see that I've got my two work items here inside of that data source. What we're introducing in this release is data source variables. And this is the idea that you can now pull in multiple different values from your data source and use them throughout your form design. For example, here in my DL details, I have several different variables that I wanna pull in based on the work project that I select in that dropdown. The way that I'm interacting with these is that from within the insert panel here, you can now see a new external data section. And in here, you can see that we are getting back some data source variables that return all the different values from within my SharePoint environment. The way that these are created is you select create data source variable. You give it a name and select an available data source. I'm gonna go ahead and select my testing connector. This is connected to SharePoint Online. And in here, I can then see all the columns that are available from the list that this is connected to. And I can specify an item limit if I want. I can also set some conditions to pull back that single value or set of values from within my SharePoint environment. For example, here in my SharePoint connector that already exists, if I go into edit, I can see that I've set my condition equal when the ID is equal to the project ID that's coming back from my data lookup control. We'll go ahead and close this. And so to show what this actually looks like in real life, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is publish this workflow. We can pop this in a new tab. And you can see that the form is doing a little bit of a lookup. You can also see that I automatically pulled in my contact details because the form knows who I am. And then I can select a work project and that'll then reach back out to SharePoint and grab the details related to that project. Now, say I wanna do my roofing update. This will again, reach back out to SharePoint and pull back the updated details, including cost, the start end date and the status of that project. So that's how you can use data source variables in a label. Let's see how you can also use data source variables to maybe populate some other controls in your form. So if we go back into the designer, and now I wanna set a rule that when my work project has been selected, I'm actually gonna set the first name value equal to my external data and we'll go ahead and grab the owner value from the SharePoint environment. We can go ahead and say create rule. And then what I'm also going to do is I'm going to remove out the condition that I have in here that was pulling back just when the projects are equal to myself. So let's go ahead and remove this. And then let's go ahead, I'll apply these changes and we'll republish this workflow. So now when I open this in a new tab, we should see that we have one more project that's available. So customer onboarding, sound system and roofing. So if I do customer onboarding again, it's gonna go ahead and set that first name equal to the owner who was me. I happen to know that the sound system installation is being done by my friend Brent Reed. And so if I select this, it'll not only pull back the deal details, it'll also update that first name dynamically with the value from within SharePoint. 
So this was a really quick walkthrough of the new data source variable feature. We're really excited for people to start trying this out and we can't wait to get your feedback on what improvements we should make in the future. For more updates around Nintex Workflow Cloud and Nintex Workflow Cloud Forms, please make sure to, to keep an eye on the release notes in the Nintex process documentation. Thank you. Thank you.